Where the hell's the DNF Duel breakdown? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, apparently they're adding like a lot of stuff to DNF Duel. That game is not content done. Is not. Like they are they are going in. It's not a character breakdown. They were they were like at the event. I'm trying to find like a video of it. Oh, it all right happened now. after. And of course I was It was all after the show. Clip Finally get to see this. So the new girl, finally, right? Hopefully she's coming out soon. Oh, we watched this. This is the cutscene that's in in regular DFO. Oh. So they just put... So they just decided to put Hitman and give Hitman Spencer shit. Hitman and Spencer are now a character in high heels. Huh. Wow, okay. All right. Show me the slides. <laughs> This looks cool. Where that gets the where that gets the PowerPoint? <laughs> She's as tall as Kunoichi. What the hell? Seems to be because yeah. of confusion. Oh, okay. Uh, Seems to be some confusion. Uh, Next slide, please. The drives are sort of attacking a broad like, area uh, at uh, once. Uh, yes, I got that. Shots, you, uh, as you can see, she can attack to the very long Thank distance. You. As you can see. Uh, I uh, can move in eight directions so with a wire fang, while airborne uh, while she is, literally uh, is Spencer. Spectre's great ability to control her trajectory using, enables uh, her to move in, a, wire, in unique uh, ways. Uh, Holy fang, shit. She, can, uh, she just has Spencer's grappling hook. So you can have a very Makes sense. It's the same fucking devs. Tricky, Sorry. Tricky move. Uh, uh, you can use very tricky moves uh, using Spectre. Spectre can gain a special effect using Ghost Fastener. So, uh, with uh, her uh, tool called Ghost Fastener uh, imbued in our arm, uh, she can gain uh, special effects during combat. Whoa. Of course, there are skills that only can Whoa. be used. Whoa. New awakening system and new system? Complete mechanical overhaul? What? You're what? Another okay, summer. Holy shit. This is so wow. This is far out. Um 2020. Wow, dude. DNF duel is not done, bro. During, this game is not uh, during, anywhere close uh, to being done. Something happened, right? So, something certainly happened where they they shit was being figured out something with nexon like who knows what the heck it was but this was not the normal scheduling for the usual fighting game system right the usual like the system that has been built the season pass system how characters are added to fighting games all of our assumptions of how it normally works is not the same way with what they're doing you know which is weird of ghost faster but the fact uh, that there's stuff all the way until 2024, there's five uh, new characters? Good lord, man. It's like they changed their mind, yeah. So, uh, I guess the game was successful 2013, enough? Uh, this year, obviously, we will be releasing Spectre. And a Switch port. So, as you can see in the slide right now, there's an upcoming new system. Kuaete, a system got to Ika Sarer to Yukoto, Kara got to Ika Sarer to Yukotoa, Chosega Hail, Kotunarimas. So, uh, new characters, new systems, which means balance adjustments. Right, naturally. Does this game have rollback? Yes, it's actually got some of the, the best net code out there. All right, next. What the? Sh 
Select a cube from two choices before a fight will decide your awakening effect? Material with magical power that is used to make skills powerful? system coming up. You'll be able to select from two awakening systems. Oh, the cubes are consumables in DFO. We call this cube selection system, and you will be able to actually choose from colorless and gold cube. We will explain the we will explain the effects a bit in a moment, but you'll be able to select between the two. What the shit? A clear cube? You get a? Wait a minute. Did they just put the top system from Gauro in here, technically? This is practically the Gauro top system, except, you know, you don't have the, the first third of your life. Now it's half your life and the bottom third. So what does that mean? In, in, in Gauro, there's a thing called the top system, and you can choose where to put it. And it was, like, in three different spots, near, like, the, the first 75% of your life, and then 50% of your life, and then 25% of your life. When you were in that that life range, you essentially got different moves, right? You got like powerful attacks for each character, right? from what I understand, right? So what they're proposing here is that traditionally, awakening, which is like your, your big instinct mode in this game, right? Where your character gets juiced, uh, is, is at lower health, 30% HP or less. So it's like down here. They're saying that if you choose a different cube type, a different like profile of awakening, you get it at 50%, but the awakening effect is weaker compared to this one. Powerful awakening effect, it has more power here. Some characters' original awakening effect will be applied to clear cube. Okay. Weird. M let me keep listening. Yeah, that's true. In, in, in Gauro, you lose the effect once it goes past that. It's like a 25% portion. This, you just keep it. In this situation, it activates and then it remains like like normal awakening po below 30 percent life you just have it it's like this little notch right here is when you're in awakening so uh, for clear cube uh we uh the awakening effect will take place uh when the health uh becomes uh below 50 percent when it was originally 30 percent right and hi so it automatically triggers? Yes, that's how Awakening already works. Yes, that, that's how Awakening currently functions. But however, uh, since, it, uh, since it activates um, below 50%, uh, compared to uh, the one uh, that activates below 30%, uh, the effect will be slightly milder. Yeah, so your your awakening effect is not as powerful. All right, let's go next. New battle system. New awakening effect. What? What? So we're also uh, thinking of adding a new system that complements with the new cube selection system, uh, which in which will include new, uh, new defense mechanisms uh, and so forth. So look forward to the uh, information to that at later date. All right, let's. So wait a minute. It's it, you, you're going to be able to choose between fifty percent awakening or thirty percent awakening. They will have a variety of effects per one. But you'll also choose for each one which awakening you want. So now each character is like V-Trigger, like big instinct mode, right? When they, when that automatically activates, is going to have a weaker version and a powerful version. Awakenings now will have technically four options is what I'm getting from this, right? Awakening will not just be the one thing at 30% life. It's going to be multiple things. It's going to be either awakening one or two at 30% life or awakening one or two at diminished effects at 50% life. Four different combinations, wow. This is practically like a variation selection because characters in, the, in awakening are, is a big fucking deal in this game. Let's go to the next, uh, yeah, well. Like, like when, when your character enters awakening in this game, they pretty much like party mode begins, you know? That's really interesting. 
it practically is like a variation select now, where you just get to choose, like almost like a Mortal Kombat variation. You know what? No, it's more like Street Fighter V, right? Because Street Fighter V, the characters eventually got V-Trigger 2. It's more like SF5. Instead, instead of choosing when it activates, though, you just get it, you know? Because characters got two separate different V-Triggers, yeah. And I'll pass this on to Mr. Lim. Summer, fall, and winter, and then also 2024. This is good that they're communicating. DNF Duel has a long-term plan for for future balance patches and updates. This is great. Hello again, this is Lim, and first of all, I would like to thank all the players and participants, as well as all the supporters globally who are supporting DNF Duel. 오늘 이 자리를 통해서 여러분들께 새로운 업데이트에 대한 내용을 전달할 수 있어서 마음이 매우 기쁩니다. I am very happy and honored to be able to present you about the upcoming updates for DNF Duo today. I wouldn't be surprised if if she drops like on June 3rd. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. DNF Duo는 2023년 이후로도 지속적으로 서비스를 지원할 것입니다. DNF Duo team has a long plan for supporting the game, even after 2023. Yeah. That's good. That's great news. Yeah, character, character DLC update, the various updates as well as balance patch are some of the upcoming news that we have and we will be actively communicating about the upcoming updates with you guys. Next please. That's that's kind of dope that it seems that Nexon or Neopol, I mean granted we get we got the guy from Nexon on stage talking right now I think is what they said. Um they're communicating. They're literally saying that they're going all in. The game's coming to Switch as well. They're going all in. Please. They we have another big tournament coming up in Florida. And we will make sure that DNF Duo will be more enjoyable game at Florida. Interesting. And as you all know, we have Switch DNF Duo coming up in April 20th. This game's gonna have air dashes by the time the year's over, right? This game is gonna increase in speed by 50% and likely have fucking air dashes at the rate of which they're adding shit. I agree, the game being like, you know, not the most popular game, hopefully gives them a, a, a decent amount of freedom to go crazy with the mechanics. Just give us more, more mobility. That's all, I, I think that's what most people want. Just more focused mobility should be allowed in the game. The game should be moving at a speed and pace that matches a bunch of the crazy stuff characters can kind of do. Um, and ground mobility is too much and aerial mobility is too little. It would be very nice if, dude, add short hops. Down up motion, down up down, right? Yeah, DNF Duel is not done. They're, they are, they're seemingly just getting started.